Hey guys, we got Kyle here. We'll start off with D-Lud. Yeah, Kyle. Uh, <clears throat> get my recorder going here. Yeah, um, you know, Coach been talking about uh, the Buffalo safeties and, and matchups and so forth. How do you uh, see the tight end? How do you see the bull, bull, the Bills defense from your vantage point? Uh, I'll say it's a great defense. You know, they're fundamentally sound. Uh, they, they they play, you know, various types of coverages. So just, you know, being able to re react to anything they throw at us is something, we, you know, we've been practicing. Okay. And, uh, you know, what will be some of the keys for you all to, you know, uh, get flowing against the number one ranked defense in the league? Uh, just to play our game, uh, you know, keep composure, you know, handle the, handle the environment and uh, just, you know, take it down, play by play and quarter by quarter. Thank you. Michael? Hey, Kyle. How are you? Happy early New Year, man. Same to you. How you doing? I'm good. Uh, so this is more of a future looking question for you because I know we've talked about various things over the last few weeks. When you look at kind of what next year could look like and what that what the offseason should be for you, where have you kind of thought about an area where you're like, yeah, this is where I need to kind of figure out or this is something I need to figure out between year one and year two for me? I would say right now I'm worried about this meeting that's coming up. I'm not worried about next year. I'm not worried about tomorrow. I'm worried about what's going on today. So just, you know, living where my feet are, that's what I'm, you know, mainly focused on, not, you know, looking into the future, the past, or just worried about what's going on here in the present. Okay, I wasn't sure, like, at what point in seasons you start to kind of, like, whether it's even during the season, like, you know, like, maybe to take notes, like, okay, yeah, the, I need to maybe work on this or that, or if that's all postseason for you. I mean, it's definitely things I think I should, uh, you know, like when I get to that point at the end of the season, that's when I kind of reflect and I'll talk over with my coaches. But right now I'm not kind of, you know, thinking about the off season or something for next year. Okay, cool. I appreciate it. Thanks. Josh. Hey, Cal. Was uh, any part of your decision to go to Florida because you were tired of playing cold weather football? Yes. <laughs> yes, it actually was. Um, well, weather kind of played a role. It played a huge role in um, where I was going to go to school. I always wanted to play in the SEC, uh, where it's hot year round, and it's you know the best brand of football. But um, I have played in the cold all you know every year leading up uh, to college. So um, this will be the first time I'll be back in some real, real cold weather. I think the last time I played in a cold game was Mizzou, my sophomore year. So uh, it was yeah, pretty yeah. Fun. But I think that was like the last time I really got a chance to even see snow or feel that cold. Do you feel like it affects you, or is it just one of those things that you'd rather not do, but once it kicks, you know, you don't think about it, or is it something you have to mentally make yourself work through during a game? I mean, it's... It's definitely, it's just snow, or it's just cold. Yeah. But you're running. Yeah. Uh, now I, I would say just that, that's what kind of keeps me warm. Just as long as my feet are fine, so I, don't know, I feel like I'm fine. Thank you, Kyle. Chris. Uh, Kyle, yes, yesterday Lee was talking about how he's one of the things he's been so impressed about you is how you essentially have played, you play like every positional offense except for quarterback and running back. How has it been difficult for you to learn the offense and learn, well, not difficult, how have you learned the offense and learned to play those many positions? How, I guess, has it been challenging for you to do that? I would say it kind of started in OTAs, just, you know, trying to learn, to learn you know, whatever they asked me to do and just repetition, reps with Matt, talking to the older guys, finding out different ways to study, uh, whether it be note cards, like slides on the iPad, uh, just going out walking on the field with just Matt, uh, just finding different ways to kind of, you know, learn it best and, you know, so that I know it like, you know, forward and back. Was there certain strategies that worked better than others or were there certain people that helped you? 
Definitely. Uh, Matt is me and Matt used to go out uh, before practice and we'll do like a little mini walk through or he'll just talk through it and I just, you know, tell him what I have. Uh, Dila, do you have any follow-ups? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, um, Lee was uh, also talking about you always call him, uh, you know, he can't get the lingo right when you're talking to him. Uh, he said you called him green or he said you, you might call him a boomer. We don't, I don't know what a green is, but I know what a boomer is. But what's some of that conversation y'all have that uh, crosses the generational gap? I don't even know what a boomer is. But, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> he's pretty hip. Uh, don't don't let him fool you. Don't let him fool okay. you. He he's hip with everything. There's a, I mean I am younger, but you know we all kind of speak the same. All right, thank you. And is that a painting of you? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. The family had it done. Kind it's of. Nice. It's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Michael, any follow ups? Yeah, I'm sorry. There's no fun things for you to look at in my background, Kyle. I apologize. Uh, I, I want to ask about the snow thing for a follow up on the snow thing. What's like, you know, be, uh, like being a Northeast person as well, like what's like the snow game memory for you? Like as a kid, like did you play a game like in like a foot of snow or anything like that ever? Like was there one of those experiences for you? Um, state game my senior year, I think I had a little snow. Or it just got done snowing. Yeah, I know. I meant even just like in the park, like with friends. Like if you ever had like one of those like sandlot games where you like played in like eight inches of snow, what that was like for you. Uh, it, was, it was fun. I was young, uh, but that was just back then. Then I was sled. I wouldn't really play. Oh, you would run, you rather want to get sledding? Yeah, <laughs> I like going down the hill. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. It's awesome. Thanks. Josh, anything? No, I'm good. Thank you, Kyle. Happy New Year. Chris? Yeah, just following up on what I asked earlier about the learning the offense thing, um, is there, in terms of just your, I might have asked you this before, but in terms of your adjustment to the league and and learning different situations, were, were there other people outside of Met, um, whether it be around the league or uh, people uh, who might be retired or, or elsewhere that you also leaned on for help? Uh, definitely, I have. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm blessed to have other friends that are in the league. So. Uh, for people who that were already in it, like uh, Eric Ebron, that's one of the most people I, I call him a lot. Him, Mark Webb, you know, I mean, because we're all kind of going through the same thing, trying to learn the playbook and camp and all of that stuff, just keeping in touch with them, just trying to figure out how they maybe learn or like other tight ends in league. I'll uh, hit up. Who, who's giving you the best advice? I wouldn't say one single person. I feel like everyone kind of has different, uh, great, you know, influential advice. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, you guys.